you. Oh, and there he goes. Welcome back to tropical North Queensland for the third and final video from this trip. We've seen the reef, cuddled koalas, cruised the sky rail and emerged through the fog already. So for this one, we hunted out two awesome and unique tours to share. We're going deep into the oldest tropical rainforest on earth. We're on our own now, babe. Full exploring mode. Spotting wild crocs. Oh. Monster. Meeting baby turts, cruising rapids, tasting the treats, trying the bush medicine. They're really, really good, isn't they? Checking out an eco-resort and so much more. Where the bloody hell are ya? <laughs> First up is a trip to Cape Tribulation with Walkabout Adventures, but this isn't just your run-of-the-mill tour. Learning the cultural traditions of the Australian Aboriginal people from a local guide is the only way. And like we've said a hundred times, if you're going to visit the rainforest, experience it with a man comfortable doing this. <laughs> no, he's in there! Those are green ants. Oh, he's coming around. Uh-oh. Where's his, where's the, the white plant? You didn't bring any with you, did you? Easy way to unblock your nose. Hey. Oh, sorry? Did they hurt? Did they bite no. you? And it helps having a local who tracks the movements of the resident crocodiles as well. Oh. Big teeth. Oh. Monster. Monster teeth. Mate, you've got incredible vision. You just knew, didn't you? You spotted him. No, I pulled up here on the way coming around. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to give away your secrets. <laughs> they get low tide, they all they see. Wow. So Aaron said we can actually come back, have a look. There he is there. We said his name was Mo. Mo, yeah. Mo. Far out. He's just chilling. We actually got three here. One. There's another one in the water. Oh, is that what that one is there? Another shape of one. There's another one in the water. Yeah, yeah. Just past up a little bit on the bank. This yeah. is the, this is the third one. Oh, I can't really make out the third one, but I can see what you're meaning about the one in the water there. Yeah, and see see up on the banks? Yeah. You see that? Like just a, where the dark portion is yeah see the tail where it's dark yeah yeah, yeah that's a crocodile far out vision mate <laughs> well that was an unexpected start but seeing crocodiles in the wild I'm, I'm like i'm never gonna say no to that what an awesome start so <laughs> unexpected we had no idea that was going to happen but right now we are waiting for the car ferry to take us over to cape tribulation and i guess that's where the real kind of tour begins so just cross the daintree river which means we're officially in cape trib but this tour is awesome because Aaron is just, his, his eye for spotting things is so incredible. He spotted a croc before we'd even got over here. But it's just one of those flexible, we cruise around as he points out and discusses different elements to us. So he's just pulled over to the side and was like, come on now guys, I'll give you some binoculars. Here you go. You can see a croc in the wild. But not just the crocs though, we actually saw it. We stopped over to show us a massive spider. We saw a couple of wallabies running across the road and then all sorts of birds and stuff that are just, it's been happening so fast. I can't grab it because he spots it so quickly. Booga Yalanji, that's our um, tribe name. Right. Uh, where the Booga Yalanji people, the rainforest people. Right. Uh, it's pronounced Kuku Yalanji, but the K to us is a silent letter. Yeah. Okay. So we say Google. Google like uh, in our language for uh, talking. And, and Yalanji is people. Talking people of the rainforest. That's us, yeah. <laughs> I like it, man. See you scanning. When you start looking, I start looking. Because I know <laughs> there's something coming, or hopefully something coming. Well, it's good when you've got the extra eyes on board. Then we got a glimpse of something we've never even heard of. Oh, and oh, there he goes. Just... Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh, that's crazy. Oh. That was a cassowary. Wow. Did you get it? No time, no time to relax because there's just always something. On. Just, Sorry, just yeah. going off into the bush. No, you can blame me because I forgot to tell you to pull your cameras out. <laughs> <laughs> you blame me on that one, but no, we spotted no. him, didn't we? It's all good, we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Cassowary is a massive flightless bird, most closely related to the emu, but as Kiwis, they remind us a lot of our now extinct moa. Alexander, look out, guys. They call that the cassowary plum. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, so it's a walk. plum, is it? Doesn't it's it look a plum. like one? Yeah, no, it's a big plum. So the, bir the birds plum. like it? Yeah, they picked that up straight oh, down the hatch. it's firm. Oh. Feel how firm that is. Oh, it's wow. a box of 
trying some damper for afternoon tea. The owner of the company, his mum is the one that actually makes the damper and then it gets taken on all the day trips. So I just put some butter and I did put some golden syrup on. I think that's the way to do it. Mm. Mm. It looks really dense but it's not. It actually kind of tastes like a Almost like a scone. Yeah. yeah. Like a light scone. Oh, if there was, there was, yeah. <laughs> Unanimous, yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's a scone. Yeah. It's a peppermint stick insect. What the? Oh, wow. oh, oh he's hidden How in there. You, yeah. yeah. Camo. <laughs> yeah. So that's, um, that's what they look like, the colour of them. It's only a young fella, but I'll show you a bigger one, and they get quite darker. So you might recognise this beach because it was on an ad for Australian tourism where Lara Bengal asked, where the bloody hell are you? <laughs> she actually had to go and ask the custodians of the land, the elders, um, if it was okay to film where the rainforest meets the reef. And this is exactly where it happens. Literally on one side is the rainforest. It goes straight onto the beach and out to the reef. It's, it's crazy. It is so cool how it is all just... I mean, here it's almost just one and the same. I mean, look, look down there. That does not seem like an Australian beach. Do you know what I mean? And That's... we're here. Like, it's accessible. Yeah. Yeah, we had to take a ferry, but hello, look at this. <laughs> we're on our own now, babe. Full exploring mode. It's so still and quiet here. Oh, except for that. What's that? Is that a, is that a baby cassowary or not? <laughs> yeah, we saw it. We almost missed the first one. <laughs> but anyway, we're quite surprised to see how many people are actually here. We were told that only a thousand people live over here and they sort of like live off the land. You're going to walk into a tree. <laughs> um, so I think this is as far as we go in terms of driving, but there's a quick 600 meter walk. Sorry, what is that? What is it? <laughs> Don't say that when we're in the rainforest. I thought it was like a snake. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Up to the cool, what was I saying? Up to the Kulki lookout point. <laughs> what is that thing? We've stopped on the side of the road. We're trying to get some bush medicine for my jellyfish stings that I got the other day. It's so unfortunate because it's literally the end of the season. Yes, there is a end season. Of stinger it, season. Normally you avoid it, but we were unlucky. Yeah, just unlucky. So I think something's happening with this. I know that much. <laughs> yeah, this one here is what we call a silver wattle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab all this leaf off. Mm. I'm going to turn the leaf into soap. That'll stop your itchiness. Okay. Just is that keep a good pouring. amount? No, just keep pouring. That's it. Keep going, girl. Making soap. Oh, look at that. Haven't done yet. There we go. It's a lit. Thank you. Okay, yeah, sure. Go. That's unbelievable. So, really, really good in there. Okay. And it just stops her from scratching. Yes, so yeah, good. Because it's. Uh, the itching is get it rid of that. Aaron was right. That was the only thing that eased the itching, other than a good distraction, of course. Final stop of the day, we're at the Daintree Ice Cream Co. I have already eaten most of <laughs> mine. But it's a place where they grow all of their own fruits and then they make them into ice creams and they have some really unique flavors. I couldn't possibly talk through all of them. We give you a variety of four flavors, all scooped into one to try them all. Uh, and some unique exotic things you may not have tasted either. Creamy coconut, people usually know that one. Uh, yellow sapote, quite unique. That tastes uh, kind of like a real sweet pumpkin pie or creme brulee. Soursop, that's your sweet lemonade one, more fresh. Uh, and your wattle seeds with like a, a mocha hazelnut sort of taste. So a good roller coaster of tastes there. Yummy, I had the beach in my in your mind. head, going straight to the beach. beach. <laughs> on the other side of that rock wall. Oh, there, right? oh, yeah, no. yeah. You see him? Yeah. yeah. Don't be scared. He'd be more scared of you. Oh yeah, look at him. Hi, hey man. 
I'll leave you to it. Thank right, you. thanks so much. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Good morning and welcome to our new accommodation. We are staying at the Tala Beach Nature Reserve and based on that Nature and animals <laughs> everywhere. So this place is so large, it's 140 plus acres, acres. Of, of land. It used to be sugarcane and now it is this, there's 83 bungalows that you can stay immersed in, in the nature, into the cliff face. There's also a private beach, it's called Oak Beach. On the other side there's Pebbly Beach. It's not so great for swimming at the moment but still just beautiful to go down relax in the sunshine. Now that is special. You don't get many beaches like this with barely anybody on it. So apart from the beach, there are loads of different walks you can do around the property. There are also experiences included, so you can go on guided walks and you can walk through the coconut groves or you can watch the stars come out, do stargazing at night time. It's, it's, it's massive looking at the map. So there's two different swimming pools. The main one is, I think is epic because they've made it seem like a natural rock formation that you would just go swimming out in the rainforest It looks somewhere. like it's just meant to be there. It totally does. And then that kind of links over to where the main structure, the main reception and restaurant and everything is and that's where we had breakfast this morning there's views looking out heading kind of north-ish over the over the coral sea and then there's our treehouse bungalow they're all standalone so you can feel kind of private and secluded we've got sea views out from our bungalow nice big king bed and they've got eco-friendly drink bottles in the mini bar oh yeah i love being able to shop to a place and there is already cold water in the fridge that i can take on my next experience which is what we're going to do now this one is very unique Swimming, snorkeling and walking through the World Heritage listed wet tropics is epic enough, but how about floating on a river sled as well? Backcountry Bliss run one of the most unique tours we have ever done, river drift snorkeling through the Daintree Rainforest. Uh, beautiful, welcome aboard everybody. This is going to be our crew for the afternoon. We're going to chuck on our wetsuits and boobies, get our mask and snorkel, our river sled, head on into the jungle. And this is our river that we're playing on today, the Mossman. Have a look out the window, have a look at the clarity of the water. No, no, no need to be worried about crocodiles or snakes or anything today. So the three things that crocodiles hate is cold water, running water and clear water. And that's three things we have plenty of. What's that? It's cold! <laughs> oh, wow! Beautifully clear though. Crystal clear, you can see right the way down. Snorkeling in a running river takes a little bit of getting used to, so after a bit of practice and some more calm waters, we grabbed our river sleds and graduated to the big time. And we're going into the big river. Thanks mate. This is next up, now we're paddling up. <laughs> So I didn't show it in that first footage. Literally, the very first thing I saw when I jumped in the water was a baby turtle. It was majestic, majestic AF. Yeah. Have a look at this. <laughs> oh, you get some speed! <laughs> We've got a bit of sideways drifting going on. 
<laughs> hey, that's quite cool, man. Snorkeling with the current is so much fun. In a lot of ways, it's actually a lot easier because once you get used to it, you can just chill and float with the rapids or kick back in style and cruise along on the river sled. Trusting the river. By just trusting the river, slowing down and trying to be in the moment. <laughs> Did I put too much trust in the river? <laughs> <laughs> okay, only one collision, but that's pretty good. What a beautiful spot. Either way, we couldn't think of a more fun and unique way to wrap up our trip. That's a wrap. That was so much fun. That was awesome, eh? It's a really good mix of everything. So, you got to go snorkeling, you got to go down rapids, you got to go through the uh, rainforest. It was like so much it was like jam-packed action packed love it and that is the end thirdly of our very quick tropical north queensland series so thanks for hanging with us we hope you've enjoyed exploring this crazy unique part of australia as much as we have if you've been following us on instagram you've already got a heads up on one of our next destinations but we've got a few travel plans to share soon along with a big pup date because nalu is growing so quickly what's what do you think that? buddy what's that what do you reckon Look how big he is now. Can't wait to share more with you next week.